Uh, very good morning, everyone. In this video, I'll be going over on exactly how to reverse engineer your competitors in SEO. So by reverse engineering your competitors, you can exactly know why their website is ranking and why your website isn't ranking. And by doing all of these things that I will be saying and I will be mentioning in this video, you can exactly outrank your competitors. So let's dive in. So let's directly dive in without any further ado. So in a nutshell, we will be looking into four main things first site structure, second keywords, third content and on page, fourth link profile. So let's start with site structure. The very first thing we want to check out on a site is how many pages and posts are there. So for this for this, uh, for this, this video, I'm actually taking this example and I'm actually searching. I have searched Dennis Nottingham, okay? So I'll just click on this as this particular page is ranking on the top. And what I'm going to do is just click up here and put slash sitemap.xml. And this will give me the sitemap of this particular website, okay? So now open the post and page sitemap. The reason why we are actually seeing the post sitemap is post influence topical authority of a website. Similar could be the situation with pages if it's focused on uh, providing information. Although in, in this case, it seems that website has only pages related to their clinic and services they're offering. Now I'll, I'll copy all the pages they are having in a Google Sheet so I can do research later, okay? So just to let you know that if the website that you're actually, you know, researching is having a lot of posts, you have to copy the post as well. So for this video, I have already pasted all of the information up here. I have four, uh, I have four, you know, sheets within a Google Sheet up here, if you could see. First is site structure, second keyword, third content and on page, fourth link profile. So I've already pasted it and it's, you know, what you have to do is you have to ex exactly copy this structure on your website or on your client's website, okay? Copy all the service pages there, uh, all the service pages uh, that you see up here. And, uh, and just a note, only if your client also provide all of those services, okay? So, and also copy all these extra pages uh, like our clinic, then, you know, feedback, contact page, privacy policy, and, you know, something like that. So... Uh, you know, uh, I remember one thing that you will have to do this with another site because then only it will give uh, us a broad view, okay? Now let's jump into our another point that is keywords. I know you might ask me, Josh, why are you checking keywords before the on-page or content of the website? The reason is because before I check the on-page of a particular website, I want to see which of these pages are actually getting traffic. This will help us create a keyword sheet with the primary keyword and then LSI keywords, okay? If you don't really know what LSI keywords are, LSI keywords are search terms related to the main keyword you are targeting. They help to support your content and add more context or add more context and relevancy to the page. Now, I'm using Ahrefs for this one, but you could use other tools like Mongol's Keyword Research or even Google Keyword Planner. So we'll put the URL of this particular website in a in the site explorer of the Ahrefs. Okay, just click here. As I have already done this, I, I'm not gonna uh, you know repeat this. So. Just click uh, click here on, on on organic keywords and you will get a lot of data here, okay? So the prime goal of doing this is actually seeing which of the page of this particular website is getting most traffic, okay? And in this one, it's homepage and obviously uh, it's, you know, that keyword that is giving this page most of the traffic is Dennis Nottingham or Dennis in Nottingham and something like that, okay? So now... Our very next thing is checking the content and on page. Also, make sure you are exporting this and pasting this in your Google Sheet up here. Okay. So now what we are gonna do is we are you know gonna check the content and on page. I'm using SEO Extension uh, Pro to have a look at the page structure. You can download it from Google, and it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a penny. Okay. So what we are mainly checking is your structure of the website: H1, H2, H3, and schema. So the very first thing we are going to do is see how they have structured their each one. And, you know, uh, this will give us a rough idea how they have structured their website. So in this particular situation, they have five each ones. That's huge. I definitely, I definitely don't suggest that because it ultimately, you know, confuses Google about what this particular website is on. Okay. Now just click on headings. Now click on headings. Now, as I said, click on headings up here and it will, you know, show us all the H1 and H2 this particular website is using. 
So it's using own your confidence with implants, get set to smile with Invisalign. Again, own your confidence with implants, get set to smile with Invisalign. If the owner of this particular website is seeing this, brother, make sure to correct this. Okay, all the website is performing pretty good, but I, still I would suggest, you know, to correct this one. Okay, so just click on export headings and just paste it in your Excel or sorry, Google Sheet that I said, okay. Uh, it will help us a lot in on-page optimization and also while sending the outline to our writer. Now let's see what schema this page is uh, having. You could do it by clicking up here. And this particular website is using web page and breadcrumb list or schema. As I, as I thought, this particular website isn't using, you know, local business or dentist schema, which you could definitely use to provide Google extra information and get an edge over your competitors, okay? Now we'll see the link, link building profile of this particular website. I know many of you would have heard of that. Uh, have heard that links doesn't really matter, but those are BS statements. I'm actually saying that links carries more power in 2023 than it used to. Okay, so now again for this, I'm gonna use Ahrefs. I'm just gonna click here, and you know, just click again on overview. So now I'll click on referring domains because those are the websites who are linking to this particular web page. Okay, so. I'll click you know, link type do follow here because do follow are the links that actually move the needle okay so now these are the website now this is the work which will come at the last once we have published the page on our site then only this would be useful okay so what I'm actually checking it is their anchor text and the sites from where the page has got the link check how many web 2.0 links the site has how many direct link the, the site has and how many niche edit and guest post link the site has. You can't really know, uh, you know, if the link is coming from a guest post or niche edit, so just ignore that, but focus on uh, majorly two things, okay? First, web 2.0, the very second thing is directory link. So here is a directory link, here is a, uh, you know, web 2.0 link, another web 2.0 link, another web 2.0 link, another cloud link, okay? So by seeing this, I can surely say that you know, 60% of the link that is coming to this particular website is coming from a Web 2.0 link. And this is a, you know, the, you could show the result of this website to someone who says that Web 2.0 links doesn't really move the needle, okay? It really does if the, you know, if your competitors are not focusing on link building, okay? So I'll then again export this and, you know, uh, you can also filter the uh, filter by, you know, clicking uh, clicking and you know uh, adding some words in it like industry or the directory here what it will it will do is you know it will show uh, all the directory links only and in some cases it might have you know some of the uh, niche site uh, links but you could just you know you have to actually uh, edit uh, sorry you have to actually you know go through all of them and you have to you have to actually check one by one okay now paste this again in a google sheet and boom you have all the information you need to rank First thing is you have all the you know you have the site structure that particular website is using. The very first thing, copy all the pages and you know imitate them on your client's website. The very second thing we have is keywords, and what you have to actually do is you have to use these keywords while building your web page, okay? And you have to ask your writer to you know include these particular primary keyword. LSI keywords in that particular web page. Okay, the very third thing is content and on page. Again, this is gonna be a very important thing. Then you are actually gonna give this information to a writer, or if you are, uh, you know, writing it through any AI writer as well. They have some. Uh, you have to actually, you know, give the AI writer some, you know, kind of prompt uh, saying this. You must include these 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 keywords. So it will definitely it's gonna do the work. Okay, the very fourth thing is link profile. Again. Once your web page is live, start building links. You could also uh, hire someone to do all of this, but again, it's up on you. So yeah, uh, this was all about reverse engineering competitors for local SEO. I hope you liked the video. Let me know if you have any questions and I will be happy to help you. Till then, bye-bye.